So you've uh, rolled back a few years uh, out there, didn't you? How'd it go? Didn't roll back many years. But <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a thoroughly enjoyable game. Obviously, you can't get away from uh, even even though you've retired, that it's a disappointing result. You, you always want to win a game. Um, but it was great to see some old faces line up with some, some ex-players who I played with and, and some fans as well, obviously including yourself, um, who, who led the team in the captain's role. Um, but it's great. It, no, obviously, looking at the bigger picture, it's so important that uh, there was such a good turnout today. We all know what a good cause it is. Um, and I think that's corroborated really by the players and, that showed up and were willing to commit to the cause, and hopefully that will that will show across the course of the season that we'll have many ex-players who will willing to turn out and hopefully support Hereford United supporters team. Yeah, the change room full of ex-players and all dead keen on, on coming and turning out. Yeah, well, I think even though Hereford has you know, traditionally got its problems with its location and attracting players, I think those players that do actually make the effort and the commitment to the club, I think it always leaves a little place in the heart. And that's definitely been the, the situation with me. I'm going to Worcester, uh, I still live in Worcester. There was no way I was going to turn out for Worcester today. <laughs> you, know, you know, obviously I didn't play for them. And Hereford's always got a place in my heart. And, uh, got fantastic memories with the kids growing up there and supporting me. And, Everything that, that I can do for the club, I'm, I'll be willing to do over the course of this season and, and, and for whatever else. Are you, are you watching on with developments at the moment at Hereford? What's your thought on that? I am, but I'm no different to anyone else. I only read what I see in the press, so uh, I'm sure I'm not privy to a lot of information. But for a, for a club that you know, I played for in League One only five or six years ago against the likes of Leeds United and beating them at Edgar Street, so Travis did to see where they are now. Um, not sure what's going to happen, even if they'll turn out on Saturday, who will go and support them. Um, I just hope everything gets sorted out, because for the city and the town, it just needs to have a club with the community. It's a, it's hard to, at the moment it hasn't, uh, so I hope it gets sorted out. I think the latest count is over 750 fans here today, which is, yeah. for a legend slash supporters game, is absolutely fantastic. Isn't it? Well, I've never known a turnout like it before, unless you, you know, you, you, you pay for a, a top quality opposition to come down. I've, I've played in a number of these games before where you're lucky if you break 100. So for that turnout today, and I know it's a summer and it's a glorious day, but it just shows that the commitment and the effort and the, and the quality of the supporters that Hereford have got. Um, and it's just it's a shame they haven't got a true team to support at the moment. So uh, as, I heard, as I said, hopefully that will get rectified, but uh, it just seems at the moment everything's up in the air and it's in the, it's in the hands of the gods. Looking to the game, obviously you, you mentioned a 5-3 defeat and disappointing to lose, but how do you think the game went? Um, I thought it was entertaining. I'm, I'm sure that all the fans would have enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> obviously Worcester going 2-0 up. We got it back to 2-all and I think it was 3-2 in front. 3-all uh, at the break. It, it was great. I think um, there's some old legs out there, some very tired legs at the moment. Um, but it's good to see everyone mix and I think that's what Hereford's got. It's got a great community, a great spirit fans and supporters and players alike um, and it's just good to see and I hope there's more cases like this and we get more supporters turn out and who can raise funds. We're, we're probably well over an hour since full time and, and most of the players are still here and plenty of fans enjoying the afternoon. I think that'll be the case for the future. I think wherever you hold it, I think everyone wants to mix, everyone wants to share ideas and, and talk about Hereford and I think that's what we're doing, reminiscing about good times, bad times, managers, defeats, victories. I think that's what we're all doing as ex-players and I think you'll get more players that will come out of the woodwork who, you know, once the word gets about and oh, it's such a good occasion playing for the, for the fans team, hopefully more will come out of the woodwork. And finally, I guess it's always good to remember that a football club is about its fans, isn't it? Well, if you don't have the fans, you don't exist. <laughs> you know, I think most clubs uh, rely on turnover from gate receipts, and if you don't have the fans, you, you haven't got anything. Uh, the fans at Hereford were fantastic to me during my time, and uh, I probably had one of the best spell as a, as a centre forward playing for Hereford, and I think that was because I was happy. You know, the fans took to me, I took to them. It was my best spell in my career, so uh, and it's no surprise that other players like Tony James, Rob, you know, Rob Purdy still live there. And, yeah, I think Michael, Michael Rose, obviously an ex-player, still got roots there and there's a load of players who are still connected with the city and the town and I'm just delighted to represent them again today and hopefully I'll, I'll get a chance again. Brilliant, thanks for your time. No problem.